Welcome to the V8, the virtual edition of the acclaimed Mark 8 electric piano and the first plug-in to bear the name, Rhodes. Decades of refinement, craftsmanship and innovation went into the Mark 8, an instrument whose tone and feature set stays true to the Rhodes heritage, but sets the standard for modern electric pianos with forward-thinking new functions that take the instrument further than any model that ever came before. The V8 takes full advantage of the Mark 8's sound, and it also lets you under the lid, giving you access to minute details of your instrument's setup. At the top of the GUI, you can cycle through a wide selection of presets and profiles via two drop-down menus. Profiles are custom setups that contain all the mechanics and electronic settings you would find under the lid of a Mark 8, including time and pickup distance, tuning, and mechanical noise. If you've ever wanted your own roads to sound exactly like George Dukes, Patrice Russians, Stevie Wonders, Herbie Hancocks, or Robert Glaspers, you can make it happen instantly. Profiles determine the behavior of the components and settings found under the lid of a Rhodes, and you can change these to create your own profiles using the detail and setup menus, which we'll show you in our next video. Presets save the front panel parameters as you can see along the instrument itself, and wrap in a profile section along with it. Modeled directly from the Rhodes Mark 8, the Rhodes V8 preamp section features volume, envelope, drive, and low and high EQ knobs, along with a classic very pan effect. There are modern twists here, which you won't find on any Rhodes piano prior to the Mark 8. The volume dial affects the gain of the signal level, with no drive applied. This control is placed at the end of the signal path, so we'll use it throughout to compensate for gain changes caused by the preamp and effects. Throughout the instrument, you can return any dial to its default value by Alt or Option clicking on it. The drive knob can be used to add anything from subtle saturation to more intense, fuzz-style distortion. The character of the drive responds to the velocity of the notes you're playing. The low and high bands of the EQ section let you cut and boost high and low frequencies. Boosting the low knob adds a rich warmth to the low end of the sound. And turning it down thins things out.
On the other side, the high knob can add definition to the high frequencies. Or dull them down. You'll feel the effects of both the low and high control differently, depending on where along the register you're playing. Between those high and low bands, the mid frequencies are taken care of by a sweepable mid band EQ, which is adjusted using two controls. Gain, which sets the amount of cut or boost, and frequency, which selects where along the keyboard that cut or boost is centered. The envelope knob is a new Rhodes feature for the Mark 8. If there's gain applied to the EQ's midband and the envelope knob is turned up, the EQ's frequency is modulated by the level of the incoming notes. This is like an amount to filter control you might find on a synth. To get a feel for how the envelope sounds, start by turning the midband's gain up to full and its frequency down to minimum. Essentially, this is an auto wire effect, animating the midband based on your playing velocity. But you can also turn the band's gain down to create a moving scoop in the same way. We'll return to this in more detail in a later video, showing you some more ways you can put the envelope response to good use. Modulation is an essential part of the Rhodes sound and featured famously on Rhodes suitcase pianos, which sat atop a 4x12 dual power amped cabinet. Although for stage models, players would employ external effects pedals to get this sound. The Mark 8 has an inbuilt VariPan setup, and so the V8 is no different. When you turn up the VariPan depth dial, the sound starts panning between left and right. Rate controls the speed of that movement. You can adjust the shape of the panning movement by selecting between four waveforms. Square, which moves almost instantly between sides, A ramp, which moves in one direction and then repeats. Triangle, 
which bounces between the sides. And sign, which moves smoothly between sides. The very pan section even has the ability to modulate into the audio rate, but we'll show you how that sounds and how to use it in our next video. In the past, you needed to hook up external pedals and stomp boxes to Rhodes pianos to get outboard effects like a phaser or a delay. With the Rhodes Mark 8 and now the V8 Pro, you can dial in the effects of your choice with the inbuilt VCA analog compressor, VCA driven phaser, and low noise analog stereo bucket brigade chorus and delay effects. Each effect has been meticulously engineered by Rhodes to gel perfectly with the Mark 8's sound, and the V8 goes further by offering extended tweakability. The VCA compressor was specifically designed to fortify the Rhodes sound with added weight and control. It can be used to flatten or accentuate the general attack sound of the piano. The amount collar applies compression to the signal, reducing its dynamic range. And the inner dial sets the makeup gain, which compensates for the gain reduction carried out by the actual compression itself. For those yearning for a threshold control, which sets the point where the compressor will begin to work, you'll find it on the detail page. The first of the stereo effects on board the V8 is the chorus module, purpose built to add shimmering edge to the classic Rhodes sound. The depth collar affects the intensity of the chorus effect. whereas the rate setting controls the speed of the LFO. The LFO's speed can also be hooked up to your host tempo using the sync button. Switching to the detail page, you can access three further controls to shape the chorus with. Under the lid, turning up the delay increases the bass delay time of the effect, basically increasing how detuned the chorus is. Spread controls the spacing of the chorus voices across the stereo field. The phase parameter adjusts the phase of the two chorus channels, putting them in or out of sync.
The phaser module on the Mark 8 is built from a custom VCA based design and is a natural choice for adding body to your tone and delivering that unmistakable Rhodes vibe. Like the chorus module, the depth collar controls the intensity of the phaser. while the rate controls the speed of the modulation. Again, the sync button snaps the effect to the project tempo set in your door. Under the hood, you can fine-tune the profile of the phaser with resonance, phase, and spread controls. The resonance dial adds a more metallic, wider sound range on the sweep of the phaser. The phase parameter controls where the phaser modulation oscillator starts its cycle. The lower the spread, the more obvious an effect the phaser will have. As you turn it up, the phaser becomes more subtle. With the resonance turned up, it's easier to hear exactly what the spread parameter is doing. The V8's delay module is modelled on the tailor-made Bucket Brigade analogue delay of the Mark 8, with pristine delay lines and lush, warm repeats. The time collar affects the time between each delay repeat. and the feedback dial controls how much the output is fed back into the input. <laughs> Using very short delay times, we can emulate a spring reverb style effect. The mix knob allows you to control how strong the delay repeats are in relation to the dry signal. Blend between fully wet, which is only the delayed signal, and dry, which is just the unaffected signal. Like the other stereo effects on the V8, the delay can be synced to host tempo.
but you also have the option of clicking the tap tempo button in time to instruct the delay to follow a corresponding repeat pattern. Again, there are more advanced controls in the Detail tab if you want to go further. Ping Pong mode sends delay repeats back and forth between the left and right channels. The Jitter knob introduces analog style unreliability to the delay's timing so repeats will stray from their theoretical timing as this control goes above zero. And last but not least, the spread color controlled the stereo spread of the echoes. Increasing this value increases the separation between the left and right delay signals. For the best experience playing the Rhodes V8, hook up a sustain pedal to a connected MIDI controller and the instrument will respond as you'd expect. You can see the sustain pedal light activate when one is connected and the light goes on and off according to whether the pedal is depressed or idle. You can also program sustain pedal data using your DAW's MIDI editor. A hardware Rhodes can also accept expression pedal input for certain parameters, but the V8 can do a lot more. Right click on any parameter and select learn from MIDI CC. Now move any CC control knob on your MIDI controller or move your expression pedal and it will now be in control of that parameter. Like an electric guitar, a Rhodes sounds even better with the right amplifier. Everyone has their own sonic preference, but some amps in particular are best suited for shaping the tone of the piano in live and studio situations. At the bottom of the v 8s detail page, you'll find faithfully modeled vintage amp and cab and mic options specially selected to bolster the character of your sound. The suitcase is the classic Rhodes cabinet built into all versions of the Mark I suitcase piano. The sound is dark and warm with a little edge of overdrive. The Twin is based on a classic 2x12 tube guitar amp with a crisp and clear tone which brings out the ties of the piano and helps it to stand out. <music> Lastly, the L5 and Jazz are solid state combo amps, both of which are transistor based and sound great when paired with the Rhodes piano. There are also two mic options to accompany the amp models, providing further colors for your sonic palette. The dynamic mic is the live performance option for Rhodes players, as it can handle high sound pressure levels without distortion.
whereas the condenser mic is the preferred studio recording option because it captures the sound slightly more faithfully. Mix and match these amp and mic options to find different nuances in the sound of the V8.